Hi guys, welcome back to Jeanette and Her Puzzles. Today I'm doing another fun puzzle that is really bright and colourful, so I'm really looking forward to doing it. This one is actually from my May 2022 puzzle haul, so it's very recent and I really like it. So the last puzzle was dogs, now I've got cats, so this is the puzzle. It's a thousand piece puzzle from High Puzzle and the title of this one is We Want To Be Together and the artist is Rosina Bachmeister. On the back it says that this is actually a part of Rosina Wachmeister's puzzle collection so there's quite a few pictures. We've got 5,000 piece puzzles and we've got three 2,000 piece puzzles and there's a little section in the back where it says that the artist is known in particular for her imaginative and colourful paintings of cats which I think is quite obvious from the picture of a puzzle that I'm holding. I can't read the entire paragraph because there's a bit missing but it does say that her pictures are declarations of love for Italy where she lives with her many cats. The main reason I love this puzzle, beside the colours and the brightfulness and the joy, is because it's got shiny golden pieces on it. So obviously the first thing when I got home and I opened it I had to check if the golden pieces are actually golden and they are. So I'm super excited about doing this puzzle. So yeah let's get into it. The quality of the puzzle is really good. It's very thick, not too soft. It's got a nice little shine to it and the picture is very clear as well. You've got the shiny pieces, so cute. I must say that after a really long time this was actually the easiest sorting I've done because it was literally like a rainbow sorting plus the golden pieces. I love the golden pieces, they're so cute. There are a few things that I noticed when I was doing the sorting. First thing is how much puzzle dust got collected. There's so much in the box already as is, but then when I was doing the sorting there was a lot left on the board which makes me think that the puzzle has never been done before because normally that just gets cleaned when you do the puzzle. The second thing I noticed is that one of the pieces was actually chewed by a puppy I think. Well I hope it was a puppy and not something else, but that makes me think if one of them is chewed, what if the puppy ate some pieces as well? Well I hope he didn't because I want to complete the puzzle, but yeah we'll find out when we come to the end. The frame was really easy to do, it's quite obvious to know which pieces go together which is always good with the puzzle. There is one thing that I noticed though, on the puzzle box there's a golden frame around the picture and on the actual puzzle that golden frame is not there, but that's fine. We still have the golden pieces on the cats. As long as we have some shiny bits I'm happy. Obviously I had to start with the golden pieces and I just finished them all and it looks really good. But the one thing I noticed is that it's actually different patterns for the faces than it is for the one on the tail. So it was very easy to know which gold goes where, which made it even easier to solve. As usually I started this puzzle by going colour by colour. Now that I finished the legs or the white section I've realised it's actually going to be easier to just do the cats first and then move on to the background because if I continue to go with colours I'm going to be doing the background first and that's going to be a lot harder if I don't know how much space the cats are taking. I'm literally just going through the black pieces and it's so hard that I'm doing a lot of other things in between so I've done the whiskers as well. I'm actually doing the edge of the black first because that's going to make it easier to complete the cats. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so I can officially say that the hardest part of this puzzle is over. So the black is done. So all I've got is the colorful background left. And I think this should run smoothly from now on. On the background right the blue one was actually quite easy because i think it didn't have any patterns on it so it was almost like doing a gradient puzzle you could see the change in the shade so it was quite easy to put them in but then doing the red one because it's got all them yellow swirls all over it it made it a bit harder so i arranged all the pieces by shape but the majority of the pieces are the same shape anyway so it did not help that much Okay, so the puzzle is complete. It looks really cute. It took me quite a while to do it though. If I'm completely honest with you, I actually thought that this is gonna be one of the easiest puzzles in my collection, but as I was doing it, I realized it's actually quite a lot more complicated than I expected it to be, but it was still fun to do. Like the end product looks really, really good. And the shiny bits are really cute when you move it with the lights and you can see the reflection in them. So I'm really pleased with the puzzle. All the pieces are there. The quality is good, but there's one big but. I did the pickup challenge and literally as soon as I lifted the jigsaw up, I regretted it because I could see it falling apart in my hands. Once I placed it back down, it kind of crumbled, so I had to put it back together. Other than that, it's still a very good jigsaw. The quality is still good, you know, the jigsaws are not really supposed to be lifted. There's just something I do, you know, just to extra test the quality of the puzzle. If you enjoyed this puzzle because it's so much fun and it's so bright and so colorful and it's got cute little animals on it, then you should check this video out because it's got the cutest puzzle on the planet. Bye!